Hey guys, it's Pia here and welcome to another video where I'm going to show you the next custom in my environmental series. I'm sorry that there's been such a long gap between this video and the last one, but it's the usual stuff, babies and kids and you know, they take up a lot of time, so sadly I just haven't had time to make any videos before this. But I have been making customs, so I'm gonna try to make a little collection video soon to show you some of the recent ones so I can compile them just into one video. Anyway, um, in this video I'm gonna be showing you the custom that was based on the cold climate forest environment. I finished that one. And then I'm gonna show you what the next custom in the series is going to be, and I'm gonna show you the concept sketch for it, and once again I'm gonna be asking for your opinion and ideas. But before that, let's get to the custom of this video. So here is my little cold climate forest kitty. Ta-da! Here it is. Once again, this one features glass eyes by the very talented Pumpkin, who is my friend. I haven't made these eyes myself, so please don't ask me how to make glass eyes. I have no idea. Um, if you saw the last video, then you saw the concept sketch. This one turned out slightly darker than I had hoped, but I think it still looks really pretty, and the eyes stand out, and I think that the details on it look super cute, even though it's a pretty simple custom and it's not a super exciting design by any means. But I think it's cute, and I think it goes really well with cold climate forests, and I think it goes really well with this backdrop, which I chose because I thought it would go with this custom's theme. But anyway, the next custom in this collection is inspired by tropical rainforests as the environment, so I'm going to show you the base figure, and obviously you're going to see the beautiful glass eyes on that one, and then let's talk about it a little more. So here is the base figure that I chose for this environment. I thought that pink would go really well with a tropical rainforest theme, and this is what it looks like. Pumpkin once again managed to make these beautiful, beautiful sparkly eyes. And uh, yeah, I actually sculpted something for this already, but it doesn't look very good. Hold on, I'm going to show you. So here you go, it's a big flower, but it was supposed to stand up kind of and look more interesting than this and it just collapsed when I sculpted it, so I decided to remove it. But I'm gonna make something similar for this and I'm gonna show you the concept sketch in a second so you can see what I'm thinking. Basically my inspiration for the rainforest custom would be that it's some sort of creature that likes to lurk underneath flowers and then attack its prey when the prey comes close to the flower. So that's why I wanted to have a big flower on it and I was trying to look up some poisonous flowers to inspire me for this one, and I'm gonna talk you through the concept sketches in a bit. So here is the first one that I made. As you can see, I went a little overboard with colors. Um, I just thought that because it's a tropical rainforest, obviously I don't want it to look boring, but yeah, it's too much. It's too vibrant, I don't like the design of it, there's just too much going on, so nope, no to that one. Then I thought, okay, well, if it's lurking underneath some flowers, maybe the flower should be bright, but the custom itself shouldn't be. Maybe it should be like a darker color if it's hiding in the shadows. So then I drew this and immediately thought, nope, I don't like it. So then I drew something else, which is this, which is kind of in between. So it's got a simplified design, but the design is still kind of bright and doesn't have as many different neon colors in it, but it still has a few. And yeah, I like this one. So. I want you guys to tell me if you like it, and if you have any better ideas, for example, if you know of a particular flower that has a nice color scheme that I could get inspired by, please let me know in the comments, because I'm always looking to be inspired and come up with even better designs if possible. But yeah, basically that's all I had to show you in this video. In the next one I'll be showing you what this custom is gonna look like, and I'm gonna show you what the next environment is gonna be. But for now, I hope that you guys are gonna leave me some comments to let me know what I should make with this one. Did you like the concept sketch or should I make something different? Um, all feedback is very much appreciated. So please let me know and I'll see you again in the next part of this collection with a little rainforest themed custom. But until then, I really appreciate you guys' patience. Thank you so much. It's not easy juggling two kids and work and all sorts of other stuff. So thank you very much for watching and for supporting me. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye bye.